everyone in today's video we shall learn how to do this line section header it is pretty useful and really nice to use it in blogs where you want to section um, section of one portion of the blog from another uh, so yeah and towards the end of the video we shall test out the code and see if we made any mistakes if we did we shall learn how to correct them as well so let's get started so when you look at the line section header, um, it obviously looks as though, uh, well it is, the word cool is right in the middle of both the lines uh, on either side of it. So f when that happens, you automatically want to think, okay, we are going to use a substack function. So that's what we are going to be doing. But before that, we are going to initialize whether uh, we want the entire line section header to be large, small, uh, tiny, or any size that you're looking for. Well, in this case, I'm going to go for huge. So, um, well, in this case, I'm going to go for huge. So, in that case, I'm going to use the huge function, so slash h u g e. And I'm going to, like I mentioned earlier, we are going to be using substack. So this is where the substack function comes in. So substack. So the next portion of the equation we are going to be focusing on is color. So I'm going to open the bracket. And since it's a stack, it obviously uh, needs to have a function. So this is where the major portion, uh, whether you want your headspace or your box color, everything comes in this uh, portion right here. So for starting, let's go for color. And I'm going to stick with black, but literally you can uh, play around with any color of your choice, the color of your aesthetic, I uh, mean the aesthetic for your blog or anything like that, it can come in this portion right here. So the color is sorted out. So now what do we actually do for the lines to be in between, that is for the word cool to be in between the lines. We are going to fraction them. Fraction, when you think of fraction, is like a numerator and a denominator. So that is what we are going to be doing and using the function called frac. So slash frac and open a bracket. So if you have seen the other uh, videos, we have definitely used the function called Headspace is basically horizontal space. So we're going to use that function right here now. So head space. And we're going to open a bracket and use uh, 600px. And close the bracket. And whenever there's a uh, uh, frac function, there's obviously um, the need of using another to open and close curly bracket. So we are going to be doing that. but first we are going to close this and now we have to put an open and a curly bracket uh, I mean open and a close curly bracket so after you are done with uh, mentioning the value for headspace uh, we definitely have used the function uh, frac which is basically a fractioning you are keeping the word or the sentence right in the middle of both the lines that is there on either side of the word so now what we are going to do is uh, trace back and see if we need to uh, close any uh, open brackets because we are going to go into the second line so that we can focus on uh, the color and uh, the other fun stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is open, so let's go ahead and close that. So remember to uh, include an open and a close bracket as soon as you're done. Uh, using the frac function because with frac function you need to open and close and then again another open and close and within the first open and close is where you put in your head space or your s manual spacing that you want to put in um, so yeah so now once this is done we want to move to the next line and for that we need to use a double backslash and we get to go to the next line in the equation so now we want to place the word cool right in the middle. So whenever you use the function huge, automatically it should strike you saying that, hey, you have to use this particular value because this particular value is the exact 
uh, center for your particular word or your sentence for that matter. And I'm going to be using uh, open bracket minus 1.23m uh, and closing the bracket. So now once this is done, this it will help uh, the word stay right in the middle of the line. So the next function that we're going to try out is slash f color box. So from the function name itself, it's like it's telling you color box. So whether you can give the outline a color, you can give the fill a color. So you get to have a best of two worlds. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Firstly, I'm going to go ahead and uh, type in white. And again, I'm going to type in white again to get the exact same look. But later on, we can experiment and see what we can change. And yeah, it's all cool, you know. So now is the place where you get to type in your word. I'm going to type in uh, hello. So we are basically towards the end of the equation. So let's go to again and trace back to see if we have any open uh, curly brackets. So this is done. This is done. This is done. Um, Alright, we have still one left. So let's go ahead and close that as well. So this is the end of the equation. So let's go ahead and test it out and see if we made any mistakes and let's uh, learn to correct them. Let's type in a random word. Copy this equation. If you know the equation by heart, you can just uh, type in a word and use the equation directly. So I'm going to paste right there and hit done. So as you can see, we have a bit of problem. So let's see how we can solve it. So whenever this happens, uh, directly go before uh, the bracket. That is before the M value bracket and or um, over here and hit delete, delete of one space and we are done. So there we go. We have solved the problem and it's all nice and uh, cool. So you might be wondering why isn't the hello line section header similar to the cool line section header. And the reason for that is because we haven't given full width. And once you're given a full width, we have hello right in the middle of the screen and cool isn't. That's because for cool, I have given the value 360. And when you give 360, uh, it is right in the middle. So that's basically how you do a line section header. You use 600px for a full width and 360px for not full width. Uh, so yeah, I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!